Lagos, a pulsating city home to millions and West Africa's largest financial, economic and cultural metropolis. Almost no other city in the world can boast growth as rapid as Lagos, yet that growth puts enormous pressure on the city's infrastructure. Lagos is a logistical hub not only for the entire country, but also for regions beyond its borders. Lagos, a name synonymous with change, opportunities and challenges for some 17 million inhabitants and for Julius Berger. In accordance with urban development plans, this ever-growing city is expanding towards the east. Julius Berger has been commissioned with the task of decongesting Victoria Island's traffic bottleneck. An additional bridge over Five Cowries Creek has to meet two requirements. First, it should alleviate the commute for tens of thousands of people crossing the lagoon to the city's business districts. Second, it should also satisfy the special aesthetic requirements of the client, Lagos State, a structure destined to become a landmark. Thus, the Leki Ikoi Link Bridge is born. This construction project faces great challenges from the start. Deciding on a route proves difficult. Only one of the many different options meets the requirements. For the most part, the chosen route passes through unpopulated terrain and connects with the existing road network. It allows maritime traffic to pass while still meeting the requirement that the deck slope not exceed 3.5% to prevent a slowdown in the flow of traffic. The nearly one and a half kilometer bridge is divided into two parts, an approach bridge and a main bridge. Its most striking characteristic, the pilot. The schedule for completing this sophisticated structure is tight. Work has to be performed effectively, precisely and swiftly. To fulfill these requirements, the approach bridge is built using a panel construction method. The individual full-span bridge panels are prefabricated on land and transported to the construction site on pontoons. The heavy bridge panels, which can weigh up to 250 tons each, can only be transported at high tide due to the shallowness of the lagoon's water. Julius Berger develops a special launching gantry to install the 92 concrete slabs. The main bridge employs a segmental construction method, which means that it is assembled using individual prefabricated elements. To reduce execution risks, Julius Berger decides to use long-line segment formwork. This ensures that every element of a 75-meter superstructure fits precisely with the other elements. Each and every segment is unique. Having to remake just one individual segment would delay construction by four to six weeks. An impressive 120-meter launching gantry is used to install the segments. The pylon is created at the same time. The cantilever beam is used later to suspend the bridge deck. As can be expected, the unusual shape of the pylon's legs causes them to slant inward. This is corrected by two temporary struts. Applying 200 tons of pressure, the lower strut pushes the pylon's legs apart by exactly 66 millimeters, a precision job involving tremendous forces. The pylon's futuristic design calls for an innovative formwork solution. Hydraulic self-climbing formwork enables it to grow to a height of nearly 90 meters. A 110-meter freestanding crane then transports the composite steel boxes for anchoring the tops of the inclined stay cables. With an installation tolerance of just plus minus 0.4 degrees for the cables, this work has to be performed with the utmost precision. In the vicinity of the bridge's inclined stay cables, the segments are installed, beginning at the pylon and then outward in both directions using segment lifting frames positioned on either end. An inclined stay cable is anchored and tightened at every fourth segment. Only then can additional segments follow. Every change to the structure, such as the installation of individual segments, the movement of equipment, or the tightening of inclined stay cables, influences the pylon's sensitive structural integrity over the course of the construction project. Settlement is expected and monitored on a continuous basis. 
Despite the structure's lightweight filigree appearance, enormous horizontal and vertical forces are at play. Individual cables are pretensioned to 700 tons. The planning and construction of this technical masterpiece are completed within just 42 months with up to 800 Julius Berger employees working on the project at any given time. Upon the bridge's inauguration in November 2012, Lagos not only gains a new landmark, but another main artery for traffic as well. It now takes just a few minutes to drive from Leki to Ikoi. Discussions started with challenge with the Baja, and they came up with this wonderful piece. And the rest, as they say, is history. Not only did they design it, they built it with our team, and we are proud that we have added to the architectural landscape of Lagos. The Leki Ikoi Link Bridge represents West Africa's first cable stayed bridge. Embedded in Lagos Lagoon, it has now become a new landmark of this megalopolis, a symbol of development, growth and progress.